Hey guys, here's how to install a ZWO EAF electronic focuser on a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. This includes the C8, C9.25, C11, and C14 SCTs, and including the regular and the Edge HD versions. You'll need the ZWO EAF autofocuser, and then you'll need one of these. Uh, these focus brackets for a Schmidt Cassegrain. Uh, now you can get one set that's for a C8 and C9.25 and a different set that's for a C11 and C14. And the main difference is just going to be this coupler that comes with the C11 and C14 bracket has a larger hole diameter uh, to fit the larger focuser shaft on the C11 and C14 compared to the C9.25 and C8. We will need to take this knob off and that can be a little bit hard so what you can do is uh, just hold a piece of paper and use a flathead screwdriver and then just wedge it under here gently and then pry upwards and then you just pull it off now you'll need one of these little phillips head screwdrivers um, because back here there are going to be these phillips head screws uh, i replaced mine with the with a different kind of uh, bolt over here so yours will just be a regular phillip uh, head screwdriver uh, no matter what kind of sct you have so we'll need to take those off and the last one now over here this is the ring so there is this side with the little divots over here and the other side is completely flat we're going to put this ring back here but We'll take this bracket and we'll be putting that bracket on top. Uh, but the easiest way is actually just to disassemble this bracket first. So let me just take this apart. That'll give us some more room for adjustment. So I'll take off these two screws that are right down here. So yeah, this part comes off and then put those screws aside and then you have this thing left and uh, you'll need a smaller diameter Allen key. And now just be careful where you put the screws. You do not want to lose them. Now you'll also receive some Allen keys um, with the package. You'll receive some of these little guys. So to get started, we will take this bracket. One of the sides is raised higher and the other side is, is lower. Just the elevation of this part here is lower. This higher raised bracket area will face that to the top. Put the screw through these large holes, this one here where the screw can go in deeper. And then put the this one over here. So we'll orient this part facing a little bit away from the SCT. If your SCT is standing up straight, you just want to make sure that it's oriented towards the outer part of the scope. Otherwise, your bracket will hit this area over here and then you won't be able to properly tighten things. Now, if you're struggling to get that last bolt in there you can also just stand your sct on the front with the uh, the cover on at the bottom i recommend making sure that these screws are fairly centered inside this hole and then just use an allen key to gently tighten this down a little bit you don't want to make it tight because otherwise this is not going to be able to spin freely test to make sure it still spins fairly freely without much resistance tighten it down a little bit more yeah, when you start noticing any sort of resistance, just stop and back out these bolts a little bit more. Okay, now that bracket is on there pretty securely. Now we want to take this plate and both for the C8, C9.25 and C11 and C14, you'll use this, this third grating over here when we attach this this way. Uh, now it doesn't really matter if it's this way or this way, just Remember to use the third grating over here. Now we'll take two of these little screws and of course two of these little washers or put the screws through the washers. I prefer to start with the top one and then we have the other tiny little screw and washer. I'll put that down in through the other side here. Just finger tighten them right now. Next we're going to use this little part. There's the part with the smaller slots and the part with the longer slots. The smaller slots will just go on there and use an Allen key to attach these. Yep, that's pretty flush. Now we can take the ZWO EAF, take off this old coupler that comes with it, and then attach 
attach the coupler that came with your SCT bracket. So this one is a lot larger. So you'll see a flat area on here on the EAF autofocuser. And you just want to take one of the grub screws and line it up with that flat area. Hold it in place and then gently just tighten this grub screw. Okay, now you don't want to tighten it fully yet. You just pull it out a little bit so it's not, this thing isn't touching the focuser. And now the other side. We will need two more of these screws that came with the focuser. So I'll just put these through the washers. Hold the EAF over here like this. And right now, do not tar do, don't tighten this other side grub screw. So just hold it like this. Put this one through. Same thing with the second one. And just tighten that in by hand. At this point, what we should do is hold this so that this these two brackets here are lined up. Okay, now we can fully tighten those two down. Now I want to make sure there is space on this side and this side so this aluminum part is not rubbing against either side. Okay, now you can tighten them down fairly tight, like not too, too tight, but fairly tight. Okay, so we are done. I'm just going to double check to make sure these are all fairly tight. Yep. You can test this out by downloading the ZWO imaging software or any other program like Nina. And then you just have to download the ASCOM driver for, for this focuser if you want to control it using some uh, imaging software like Nina.